Right lads, so today I'm going to talk about how to get your car or your exhaust popping, banging and crackling. Okay, so first of all you need to think about the basics and the theory of why it does it and how it does it. What happens is fuel from your engine enters the exhaust and then when your exhaust gets hot, the, the heat from the exhaust ignites the fuel in the exhaust and that's where you can hear it popping out the back. Now in theory that shouldn't happen because all the combustion should happen within the engine cylinder, but there's some factors which will influence that and shove some exhaust which has not been used into the exhaust. Uh, now I, I know it sounds cool as fuck and it's unreal, but it really shouldn't be happening, but you know, coolness over efficiency of the engine, right? So the first thing that you need to do is get rid of anything that restricts flow in the exhaust and the main one is uh, cats and also your mufflers, uh, your centre boxes, whatever you want to call them. So step number one, remove the cats and remove the mufflers. Um, depending on how loud you want the bang, I know this has still got a muffler on the back, it's a Miltec exhaust and it's not straight through, it's still got a, uh, it's still got a bat box, it's only small but it's still got a bat box and the pops and bangs are good, like they are really good. Um, so the first thing if you, want, if you want that is to remove the cats and remove the mufflers. Now, the second thing, you want as much fuel in it as possible, you technically want to over fuel the car. Um, bigger the bigger the engine size, uh, obviously you know the bigger liter. You have more fuel than the cylinder at each time, and you can manipulate you, using the throttle uh, of how to flood the engine pretty much. Uh, and you can kind of do it yourself and manipulate it with the throttle. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, so that's the second thing really. You can also look to mapping, which I said a minute ago, uh, you can basically just map the car so it does run lean or rich. I can't remember which one it is, too much fuel. Um, and, you will, and, you, and you will shove all the fuel back through the exhaust. A, a good example of this is the, the new Mini Cooper S's. You can change the mode of the car on, on a remote to, I think it's road, track. Uh, I think it's road and track. Uh, and track what it does purposely it dumps a little bit of fuel in the exhaust and the big pops on that are stupidly insane my mate's got one <laughs> it literally sounds like it sounds like a machine gun it sounds like someone's been shot it's stupidly fucking loud but it's stupidly fucking cool so you know if you've got a little one one litre clear or 1.2 litre clear then you're probably not going to get much bangs because there's not much fuel going into the engine anyway now it does change from car to car i'm not i'm not entirely sure why i have researched this but i didn't really get a legitimate answer uh you know you know some cars are very prone to doing it um these are prone to doing it the sts are prone to doing it uh, the, like the focus sts they're very prone to doing it <laughs> But then some other cars aren't as prone, like I've seen the Civics that aren't that prone to doing it. But you know, um, it's simply just a case of straight piping the exhaust and trying to over flood the engine. Um, so I'll show you how to do that with the accelerometer in a sec. Accelerometer, what were you in fucking PE? Uh, the accelerator pedal. Which leads me on to the last thing, it ne the exhaust needs to be hot. Um, it does work well if the exhaust is colder, but it if the exhaust is hot, that's what's going to that's what's going to pop them. It's going to pop pop because you feel, as your fuel moving into the exhaust, that's what's going to ignite the heat from the exhaust. So get your get your car hot, straight pipe it, get rid of the fucking cats, overfuel it, and use this method where you accelerate with your accelerator. I still can't fucking say it. Accelerator, and you'll be popping and banging in no time. Now there's two different versions of pops and bangs that I get. Uh, I feel like the pops are different when you're in gear. Uh, and when you're in neutral, when you're in neutral, you've got to do it a little bit different. I'll show you in a second. And when you're in when you're in gear, I feel like you can. The best way to get the pops is just put it up to three thousand and then take your foot off quick. Mind my horrible shoes. I've just been doing errands today, and I didn't want to wear my nice shoes because I've been going to the gym, etc. But mind my fucking shoes. So you're in second gear about this day. If you used to start further in the throttle like that you'll get lots of bang, so just tap it and then come off dead quick. Whether it's neutral, you've got to keep going dum, 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 dum. But that's pretty much it really, there's no art to it really. Um, you just got to restrict your 
unrestrict your exhaust, overfill your engine and make sure your exhaust is hot and then you'll be fucking laughing lads. Until I broke the rules